After two weeks of shed hunting in the 2017-2018 season, this is what I managed to get. And unlike last year and a few of the years before this, uh, this is a this is a year where I seem to have found just some over the edge, really big antlers compared to the usual small ones I usually find. Uh, I even found two from last year um, that actually had some really good characteristic to them. I mean, they're definitely bigger antlers. And you can tell that they're, you know, definitely a year old. They're all from the sun ruined. And, and the squirrels get to them a little bit. Um, this one was actually buried in the ground. Uh, I don't know if I uploaded the video, but I actually dug it up. And I think I called the video Buried Treasure or something. But, yeah, I actually barely seen one of the tines and I happened to walk across it uh, and then I found just a few ones this was actually from last year too I'll put this in the last year's pile that I just kind of stumbled across uh, this was the one of the first antlers that I actually found in the season um, this is an antler that I really like uh, actually it's it's really you know a tiny antler but this curved tine characteristic is what makes me really enjoy this antler and this is actually one of my favorites as well uh, I, I call it captain's hook I just really like the fact that you could just kind of twist it. it it's just you know a simple antler but I love it uh, these two here um, I mean this really stands out I mean it's got really nice uh, characteristic to it it's got like that cool looking point right here that I just love and um, I was kind of thinking that these were like a father and son kind of ordeal here. That's what my dad seems to think. I seem to have thought it too. So, I don't know. I kind of thought they were kind of cool. Uh, this is definitely my all-time favorite antler. I mean, I've been doing this for years that I've found. It's just got one heck of a curve to it. I mean, you just don't see that characteristic very often. Huge base. Um, definitely my favorite right here. This one here is really cool too because it's just so dark. It's like a dark antler that I don't really have very many of these. And uh, actually I found these three right in a row. And uh, I actually got really mad in my video because every time I found one of the antlers I thought it was a match. And I never ever found the others to these three and I mean I looked especially for this one here I, I had looked about two weeks solid on all the surrounding properties and just never found it very disappointed so somewhere out there someone has it or no, no one has it um, these this one and this one here I mean this is my all-time biggest you know brow tine buck that I've ever seen in my life um, and I actually found these two uh, side by side, and they they line up perfect. So I was really inclined to believe that they just had some type of uh, you know non typicalness to them. Um, but yeah, I definitely thought. I mean, I found these probably thirty feet apart, so I definitely definitely thought they were a match here. Um, this one's kind of cool, you know, it just kind of fits in your hand, kind of cool. Um, I like these ones here. Uh, this one, I, this one was one of the bigger ones I found. I actually found, uh, those three in one day, and then I came back and I found this one. So I actually got to find these all in pretty much a two-day span on April Fool's. Uh, that was definitely a cool find. Uh, this one here, yeah, it's just like your basic kind of antler. It looks alright, it's a bigger side. Could not find a match for this. I looked a little bit, but uh, lastly, I have my my two sets that I found. Um, you know, it really sucks that this one really got you know ate by squirrels, and uh, then of course I found this one first, and I was disappointed in the tine. I'm like, maybe hopefully the next side's better, but yeah, clearly it was uh, was no better. And uh, this is going to be 100% my biggest. Uh, matching set that I've ever found. Um, 
disappointed that of course there's a definitely you know a few tines that you know didn't really develop or some that were broken off and as you could see you know the this is just so sad to see i mean you got these beautiful long tines pretty much a, a dream a dream shooter and uh you know Tides are broken off. Now, there was also two more antlers. I ended up finding 23 or 24 antlers this season. Um, I have to give credit to my girlfriend. Uh, she definitely found two or three of them. And I let her bring them home because they were her first two antlers and ever. So I said that she could have them. So she, she definitely robbed me two antlers from my collection. Um, but I do have a video um, of me. Just showing them off, so I'm def I'm definitely going to add this into the video after. Other than that, um, I've definitely seen a lot of inspirational videos out there, and it, it definitely helped me this year. Uh, I found all these on uh, mostly public property, uh, a lot of the state parks, um, and again, it was it was mostly trying to hit the core spots two or three times before anyone else. And it's very difficult, you know, when you have work and people who, who don't work. I mean, I, I walked spots that were, you know, walked two or three days before, but I was able to find a few antlers. But this is my results. Uh, my season is officially over. Um, I had no desire to go back out. But I ended up with 23, and I'm very happy that I actually got to add some big antlers to my collection. Thank you, and thanks for all the advice and all the other videos out there. They're very educational. And uh, check out my other videos if you want to try and learn a little bit more. You don't have to be the best antler hunter out there. You just got to walk at the right time. And you just got to look real hard. And I'm telling you, they're out there.